Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Ender's Island. Today is the fourth Sunday of Lent, and our readings are from Year B, and it's Laetare Sunday. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. But God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. But God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Today we celebrate the great and rejoicing Sunday in Lent called Laetare Sunday. This is a celebration and a day to rejoice. The opening antiphon for the Mass today is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 66, verses 10 and 11. Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her. Be joyful, all who were in mourning. Exalt and be satisfied at her consoling breast. Yes, we have much to rejoice in, my brothers and sisters. The theme of today's Gospel reading, according to St. John, is the relationship between God and the world. A few very important statements are made that give us good reason to rejoice. The first of them is that God loves the world. He loves it so much that he gave his only son who died a terrible death on a cross as proof of that love. God loves the whole world, and not just the good parts. God's love is total, and it's unconditional for every one of his creatures. But to experience the life that comes from God through Jesus, we have to believe in him. We have to open ourselves to him. We have to embrace him and his teachings and give our whole selves to him in a deep and trusting faith. God loves the world, a great reason to rejoice. Secondly, God didn't send his son to condemn the world, but that it might be saved through him. Another reason to rejoice. We must constantly remind ourselves of this. 
God's first and only instinct is to love us and for us to experience that love. We've been made by him and for him. Therefore, he made us to share his life and love forever. A third reason to rejoice today and every day, whoever fully believes in Jesus in heart, word, and deed avoids judgment. But whoever does not believe is already condemned. Now, I got to say that this word believe, we think of it in the terms of our own language as something of the ascent of our mind, that we believe that Jesus existed. But really, belief in the way that the Gospels uh, proclaim that word, it's for us to embrace everything about Jesus, his life, his deeds, his words, his commandments. Now, that doesn't contradict what we have just said. Judgment does not come from God, but rather from our own choice. As today's gospel puts it, the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to the light. And all who practice evil, they hate the light. They don't come near it for fear that their deeds will be exposed. It is not God who abandons or dumps us. It is we who abandon him. We are our own judges when we deliberately prefer darkness to light. We put ourselves beyond the reach of his love, which is there and only waiting for us to turn back. On the contrary, the one who quote unquote acts in truth comes into the light to make clear that his deeds are done in God, unquote. It's not God's judgment that we're to fear. Rather, it's our own choices which can bring us closer to him or farther away from him. It's our own choice whether we wish to live always in the light or we choose darkness. It might be good for us to reflect today on those dark corners of our lives, present and past, which we keep hidden from others. But God sees all. Why do we hide these things? The person who lives in the light, the person of integrity and wholeness and holiness, has nothing whatever to hide. And as Jesus said, if he acts in truth, that truth comes into the light. And the reason why we should want this is to make clear that our deeds are done to fulfill the will of God the Father. Something to ponder on this beautiful Letare Sunday. Rejoice, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart, either through a verse or even just a small word from the scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, and more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete a divine reading with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Governed by your Holy Spirit, we pray, O oh Lord, those who contemplate and embrace your divine word, that professing you, not just in words, but also in works and in spirit and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon, not to miss any new meditations that come to you each and every day. 
You can also help our channel by sharing these links with others and pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all.